Hello students, in this video we'll see two methods of discretizing a survival function. Let's recall a random variable x with pdf f of x has survival function S x of x defined by the probability that x is larger than x. And we can integrate this function. We can write this survival function as the integral from x to infinity of f of t dt, where that's our PDF of the random variable. Now, oftentimes what we should do is we should discretize the survival function. So there's two principal methods for doing this. One method is referred to as the Kaplan-Meyer method. And what this method does is the following. It says that there's a sequence of times, y1, y2, y3. And at these times, we can have several things that happen. We can have t1, t2, and t3. We'll just do three steps. And here, ti are new entries in a study. We can have b1, b2, and b3. And here, the bi are the withdrawals from the study. We can have S1, S2, and S3, which are the deaths in the study. These are the study deaths. And then we can have R1, R2, and R3. And this table can go on and on. I'm just writing three for convenience. And the RI is the total population. So RI is the total population at the time YI. And so what we have now is we have a whole bunch of times. We have entrance into a study at the time. We have withdrawals. We have deaths. And we have the total number of population in the study. With the Kaplan-Meyer, estimate for the survival function is, it says the survival function, Sn, estimate, we're using the hat to denote estimate here, at a point in time, say yk, will be the product, j goes from 1 to k, of 1 minus Sj over Rj. And so this gives us one way of approximating the survival function. And we should note that the, the structure of these terms is the following. Each of these factors has the form rj minus sj over rj. And so what this is, is this is the number, the population, minus the deaths over the total population. So what we're doing is we're multiplying, we're assuming that every segment is independent of each other. We're adding in all the entrants to that participation list, and then we're subtracting off the number of deaths, and we're multiplying all the corresponding terms over here. So this is one estimate of the survival function. And what we can notice over here is we notice that the structure, as I said before, has the following form, 1 minus S1 over R1, 1 minus S2 over R2, 1 minus SK over RK. So that's one method. The second method is the Nelson-Allen method. And what this method does is it computes the, approximates the cumulative hazard function. So the cumulative hazard function will be approximated by the following. It'll be H 
hat of yk. And the hazard function will be the sum, j goes from 1 up to k, of sj over rj. So this looks like s1 over r1 plus s2 over r2 plus Sn over Rn. And once we have the estimate for the cumulative hazard function, we recall the relationship between the survival function and the hazard function from classical probability, namely the, exponent, the negative exponential of the integral of the discrete hazard function, or the cumulative hazard function, is the survival function. So we can set, or define in this method, we can define S. And oftentimes what you'll do here, see, and we, don't have, we should put N here probably, and N, because there may be N entries in our system. So we'll define S n hat of y k, another approximation of the survival function, and this will be the Nelson Allen estimate, as the exponential of this cumulative hazard function, negative h n of y k. And so what we notice here is we can notice there's a structural similarity between these terms over here because the exponential of these things, since it's a exponential, I can write this as e to the negative s1 over r1 times e to the negative s2 over r2 times e to the negative sn over rn. And we know that each e to the negative s, so note, we note over here actually, so note, that e to the negative x is approximately 1 minus x. And then the next term of the Taylor expansion will be plus x squared over 2 factorial. So this is the Taylor expansion. So what we have here is we can say that each of these terms over here is approximately 1 minus x. In this case, I'll have an s1 over r1. So this is approximately equal to 1 minus s1 over r1 times 1 minus sn over r. N. But these terms over here on the approximate side are a, these terms over here on the upper side, the pure exponentials, are actually a little bit larger than this. So these terms in the Nelson Allen estimate for the survival function are always bigger than or equal to the Kaplan Meyer. So we can say, sort of, can summarize the Nelson Allen survival function is always bigger than or equal to the kaplan -Meyer survival function. So these are two discrete versions of the survival function given from a mortality table of information, and they basically approximate the continuous survival function. Thank you very much.